How's it going guys? My name is TJP and welcome back to another Madden NFL 22 franchise rebuild. In today's rebuild we're going to be doing our first NFC West team. It's going to be the Arizona Cardinals. So if you guys like this kind of content, like I said, leave a like and subscribe for more. And check out my social down in the description as well as a playlist containing other Madden NFL 22 franchise rebuilds. And let me know if you want to see some other videos, games, etc, etc, etc. So yeah, with that being said, let's get on the gameplay. All right, so we're locked and loaded. We've got Arizona in the game. Here it is. You guys can see it. Let's take a look at the roster. That's what I'm kind of curious about. So here we go. We've got DeAndre Hopkins. Uh, pretty much, I think, locked. I'm not really sure. we got J.J. Watt. We've got Chandler Jones, Buda Baker, Rodney Hudson, Kyler Murray, who I'd like to see how well he develops. Brian Murphy Jr., Matt Prater. I mean, there's some guys on this team. There's some definitely some talent. We got some star power up here as well. Uh, so this should be pretty interesting. Uh, there are some moves we can make to improve the team. Probably mostly the line. That's usually where the moves are made. Uh, so uh, we also, I guess, could use a better tight end. But, you know, Max Williams... Uh, left tackle. Uh, it's not too bad, I guess. You can kind of keep it the way it is. Yeah, mostly the line, really. Uh, Zavin Collins is a rookie. He usually wins Rookie of the Year. He's been winning Rookie of the Year a lot, and I've noticed that. So, down to Rookie of the Year. So, we're going to have him kind of get some playing time. But there's really no one out here in previous that I like uh, too much to sign. So, I might keep the team the way it is. For now and um, maybe just like at the trade deadline we can look to see if we can improve the team if and kind of just assess how good we are there which I usually don't I don't usually don't do I usually sign like somebody but I'm just gonna kind of keep the team the way it is and we'll see how good we are at the at the midseason and if I need to make them well, I'll probably make a move then if I if I feel I need to Okay, so we're terrible we're at the midway season, and we are currently 2-5, and five, so we are not very good. Um, that is uh, really unfortunate. So 2-5. and five. Uh, We'll take a look at standings after. Uh, Kyle Murray sucks. He is terrible. Holy Lord of mercy, he's doing bad. Okay. Yeah, that's not good, Kyler. That is not good, Kyler Murray. Ooh, goodness. Okay, the rushing, James Conner, Kyler Murray... Yeah, okay. Kyler Murray, maybe we have to move you in the offseason if you're not going to pick it up. If you're going to play like that, Kyler, that's a problem. I mean, DeAndre Hopkins, uh, Christian Kirk, Max Williams, AJ Green's on the team, Chase Edmonds. Yeah, I don't know. That's This is tough. This is tough. The blocking, I mean, could be it's not terrible. How about Zayden Collins, the leading team in tackles? And near the top in sacks as well. We have only, uh, I was going to say we don't have any interceptions, but... Yeah, I don't know. We're not very good, which I kind of figured we wouldn't be, but this is, like, really bad. So, uh, the good thing is Kyler Murray's contract is very tradable, at least now. So, yeah, 26 in offense. That is not very good whatsoever, and uh, we're near the bottom in both uh, passing and rushing so that's kind of bad. I keep doing back. I don't know why I keep doing that. And then defense, though, how are we doing there? Uh, I would say we're kind of near the middle-ish. Yeah, it's about right. Middle. Middle defense. Middle-y. So uh, I'm going to see if I can make a trade here to improve the team now. Uh, but other than that, I think we'll probably just do most of our bulk work in the offseason. Okay, I traded Javon Williams to the Buccaneers for a future fifth-round pick. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to pick up Geno Adkins for like the rest of the year because I need a defensive tackle. And I also need a right end, I think. I'd like to get a right end if I can. Adrian Claiborne. We'll go with you for the rest of the year. Why, might as well. So Adrian Claiborne. That's pretty much all I'm going to do, uh, I think. So um, I said I was going to make more trades, but honestly, I just want to clear cap. So uh, we do have negotiations to be had so Chandler Jones James Conner I mean really no one amazing 
I mean, really, the only person I might want to keep right now is, honestly, Chandler Jones. If I can lock him up. And then I'll kind of just go into the rest of the season. I'll just simulate the rest of the season. So let's see if I can lock up uh, Chandler Jones. We'll give him a 10.5 million, 15.3. Give him four years. Offer's perfect. Beautiful. I'm glad you think it's perfect. Probably overpaid, but it's fine. Uh, but everyone else, I'm just going to wait till the uh, offseason to try to pick up and try to keep my options open. All right, so we ended up going 7-10. and 10. Uh, I, don't even know if, I don't know if I remember showing you guys the standings or not, but we didn't make the playoffs, so 7-10, and 10, uh, which, you know, I mean, we could build upon that. We could build upon that. I, I guess I wasn't really, I don't know if I was expecting to make the playoffs, but uh, now that I know that our defense was decent, but our offense is not that great. It means we need work. So, playoff bracket. In case you guys are curious, here it is. Boom, boom, boom. Cowboys in the bottom right corner. You can pause and look if you want to see more depth. But, uh, yeah. We did not make the playoffs. So, let's see who was bad. So, Kyler Murray, I might like to trade him. I might like to move Kyler Murray. I might want to get a better quarterback. So, we'll see. James Conner, uh, we need to get a better running back, too. Oh, my. I guess because Kyle Murray runs a lot. But, like, I was about to say, like, how do you only have 513 yards? Jeez. Yeah, I was about to say, probably because Kyle Murray has over 400 yards. So, but even then, I, I, I feel like I want a better quarterback. John Hopkins, nice year from him. Christian Kirk, A.J. Green. I don't know how he had over 1,000 reception yards. Fair play to him. Uh, the blocking... Seems to be okay. I mean, DJ Humphreys let up a lot of sacks. That's a lot. Um, Isaiah Simmons, Zach, Col uh, Zach Collins, they were pretty cool. They did their thing. Uh, Chandler Jones, who we extended. Did, or not Zach Collins, Zayvon Collins. I don't know why I said Zach Collins. I feel like he didn't play that much in the second half of the year, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm just missing it. But uh, I, I don't know why I said Zach Collins. It's really weird. But anyways, you guys can see the rest. Special teams kicking jazz so yeah 29th offense not good not good that's not good our defense was pretty good in the second half of the year so that's nice to see but yeah our offense was terrible so probably gonna have to trade murray caffrey's mvp um and nick sirianni coach of the year so honestly i want to get a better running back as well uh Maybe we trade for McCaffrey. I could do that. And then I could try to trade for a better quarterback. Or maybe just keep Kyler Murray. I don't know. I I, 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 I I need either a better running back or a better quarterback to make the offense just better. So we are going to simulate to the Super Bowl and, well, really the offseason, just see who ends up... Uh, doing their thing and winning the Super Bowl. Well, look at that. The Chiefs win the Super Bowl. Uh, let's upgrade against the Seahawks. Let's upgrade Dave and Collins. Might as well. There we go. Yay. yippee ki yay yippee ki -yo. But yeah, uh, Chiefs, once again, win the Super Bowl. They win practically all the time. Which, again, if they don't win... It, 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 I'm pretty sure they... It, there's. I don't know if there's been a video. And you guys can look back. I might look back. I don't know if there's been a video where the where the Chiefs have not won at least one Super Bowl. And a lot of the times they've won more than more than one. They've won two. I think there's been a video where they've won like three. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, you guys see the awards here. Um, uh, well, you do get Zayvon Collins, uh, Defensive Rookie of the Year. You guys can't see because my camera's blocking. But he got Defensive Rookie of the Year than Zach Wilson for the Jets. So, good to see there. I'm happy about that. Uh... So yeah, we're gonna go on to the off season. All right, so we have like th over thirty-two million in cap, which is nice. So th there, there are some moves that I want to make. There are some moves here. I, I don't know if I want to re-sign James Conner, Christian Kirk, Chase Edmonds. I might just let them walk. Well, maybe I re-sign one of them. I'm not sure. I haven't thought about it yet. Maybe Christian Kirk we can keep. But other than that, I feel like. Everyone else here is kind of like expendable. I'll give them like six years, 2.95, and then we give you a four year deal. Will you accept that? Okay, yeah. We get Christian Kirk back. That's nice. I think everyone else here, I'm kind of like okay with letting walk. 
But uh, yeah, I'm gonna simulate uh, to the off uh, to to start a free agency, and we're gonna see if there's uh, we could get maybe like another wide receiver. I'm thinking Devontae Adams would be cool. We also need a tight end though. Maybe we could trade for a tight end or sign a tight end. We're gonna have a decent amount of money. Um, and I'm really gonna try to trade for like a big back. Like at, I'm going for like a big cornerback uh, here. So uh, tight end. I mean Gronkowski wouldn't even be that bad, honestly. I could go for Gronkowski. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can throw some offers at some players. All right, so I'm gonna pick up Devonte Adams. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're we're gonna we're gonna have some pretty big backs here, Hopkins and Adams. So uh, lots of options for Murray to throw to. So I think that'll actually help as well with this with the pass yards per game. I think it should. Uh, so that's nice. And I'm just gonna advance one more week. Because I did offer, I think, Cameron Sutton the contract. I do want to see if he accepts it. He didn't accept it, which is fine. So he's rejected the offer. But uh, we don't have much cap left. But I'm going to see if I can do a trade for, like, a big running back now. Okay, two third-round picks and a second-round pick for TJ Hawkinson, who's not making a lot of money. I needed a tight end, so that was the first one I'm going to make. I still have some money now left to... still have a decent amount of money to make, like, a trade for, like, a really good running back or possibly an upgraded quarterback. Okay, two first and a second round pick for Christian McCaffrey and Derek Brown. And I get Derek Brown because I need a defensive tackle. That is a big, big trade there, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope that Kyler Murray just has a better year now. The offense is crazy, which is fantastic. I'm gonna see if there's any other moves I can make to improve the team. Though I'm still, I may not be done yet. Might want to make one more move. Traded Justin Poo to the Bengals, clear up some cap for a future fourth round pick, which I maybe can use in a trade. All right, and with that uh, free s a space that I uh, freed up that with the with that trade, I'm I picked up uh, Dominican Sue for a one year deal to be our right end, so uh, to help us out there. And honestly, that's probably everything I could pretty much do. I mean, there might be a trade I could make. I mean, McCaffrey wants an upgrade. Absolutely, we'll upgrade Chris McCaffrey. Uh, is there anything? Is there any trades I can make? I mean, if I want to, I might want to make one more move to see if I can get like. A couple of decent guys to fill out my the the like the left guard the right tackle and the right guard because i feel like i don't have any position there so let's see if there's anything i can do here uh what kind of draft picks do i have i have still have a fifth six seventh for this year but probably nothing honestly so i might maybe i'll just let the cpu just draft somebody and we'll just kind of figure it out going forward or maybe we could even sign somebody uh at the start of next season all right, guys, so we're at the start of the second season, and we definitely made a, we had a very busy off season. Uh, you know, I'm going in, I'm going in for that offense there. We're going in for that offense, so I don't know why I'm doing standings. So, meant to actually show you guys the roster. So, let's take a look at the roster. So, you guys can see we have, we have a lot of top-tier talent now. So, we've got, once this roster loads, if it loads, Christian McCaffrey, Devontae Adams, DeAndre Hopkins, and then we got Buda Baker, J.J. Watt, Chandler Jones, Rodney Hudson, T.J. Hawkinson, got Kyler Murray still, Brian Murphy Jr., Christian Kirk, Dominic Sue, Derek Brown, Jalen Thompson, Isaiah Simmons. I mean, there's a there's some guys on this squad. Like, there is some talent for sure. Uh, I do think we have a we have some weak spots though for sure. Uh, which I, I don't know if I can actually fix them, to be honest. Probably can't. So we're probably going to have... Yeah, we have a few We have a few very glaring weak spots, mainly at the guard spot. If there's a way I can maybe just get some kind of guard, I'll even take, like, friggin' Co Cody Glenn. I can't even sign him. I can't even sign him. So I'm going to see if I can trade for a left guard and a right guard. But if I can, I'm just going to kind of keep the team the way it is and maybe do something at the midseason. All right, guys, so as you can see, we're currently three and four. Uh, so I'm a bit worried about that. So we're, we probably need to get a guard position. I don't know what's going on, why we're three and four. But, yeah, we're kind of struggling a little bit. Uh, you guys need a standing. So let's take a look at the team stats because that's – we also have a lot of negotiate. We have some negotiations up, so we're going to do that too. But let's take a look at the stats. So, who's doing good, who's doing not? So, Kyler Murray's actually doing decent. He's doing good. So, Kyler Murray, we can keep him. He's having a good year. He's doing nice. The rushing, Caffrey's doing pretty good so far. 
Uh, you know, you know Benjamin. I mean, Kyler Murray is basically a second running back on my team, but yeah. Hey, McCaffrey's doing his thing. You know, DeAndre Hopkins, Devontae Adams. Devontae Adams is really getting many, many looks. Maybe we trade Devontae Adams. I, I, I say this all the time, but like, maybe I should just trade him for something. I don't know what. But, I mean, TJ Hawkinson, Christian Kirk, Christian McCaffrey. I feel like I pick up Devontae Adams, Devontae Adams a lot, but I don't know. Maybe we'll keep him. Uh, but yeah, the blocking. Actually, the blocking is pretty good, surprisingly. So I'll take that. Uh, you know, the the defense, Sam Collins doing his thing out there, leading the team in tackles. Devo uh, Derek Brown, who we got from the Panthers in the McCaffrey trades, leading my team in sacks as well as J.J. Watt. And uh, Sue is doing pretty good as well. And interceptions, Brian Murphy Jr. doing his thing out there, leading the team. I said, uh, I said Brian, I meant Byron. Uh, I can't speak, guys, I'm sorry. You guys see that Matt Prater, only four of eight. That's kind of gross, but whatever. Offense, six in the NFL. That's what we like to see. So our offense isn't the problem. Is it our defense that's the problem? We are way at the bottom. We are near the bottom of the league in defense. So that's not good. Uh, what do we do? Is there any way we can make our defense better? Possibly. So we're going to have to try to make a trade potentially we do have some picks that i i traded for but let's see what let's see how we can improve the team i'm curious to see we also need to re-sign a couple guys too but left tackle f Oof. yikes okay i don't know how we're doing so well there i mean we're not but oh god oh goodness okay we have a lot of weak spots. Um, do I want to get? Do I get a linebacker? Do I want to get a cornerback? Rocky Sin maybe could be a decent piece here. Uh, maybe we'll try to get Rocky Sin. Oh, I just realized I don't have any money, so that can't be a thing unless I throw in a player. Uh, so let's see. Uh, Who's making a fair bit amount of money? DJ Humphreys. Why is left tackle weak? Is he hurt or something? Maybe he's hurt, but he's making 18 million. And Devin Kennard, Devon Kennard is making so much money too. I kind of want to trade both of them to be honest. I feel like I don't need Kennard, so I already have a, I already have a Marcus Golden. So Kennard for Sin. Straight up won't work but uh what if i throw in some picks maybe that'll work entice you maybe a fourth and a fifth rounder Ooh, very close okay but i throw in a fourth what if i throw in a fourth rounder this year and a third rounder next year what if i just do this okay and then i'll throw in like a six round pick There we go. All right, so we get we get Sin. So I'll take that. That might help out a little bit. Plus, we clear up some cap space as well. So Bryce Hall. Bryce Hall? Bryce Hall? What? Okay. Anyways, uh, let's just see who's up for contract extensions, and I'll show you guys who I extend, or even if I, even if I can extend some guys. All right, so I was able to re-sign Rocky Sin, who we just traded for, uh, TJ Hawkinson, Kyler Murray, but everyone else here... Oh, and Jalen Thompson, but everyone else here I couldn't get back, so... Uh, and then these guys are up for negotiations. So we actually might be losing out possibly on JJ Watt because I don't know if we're gonna have money to sign him. This is gonna be tough. Okay. Uh, hopefully we can improve. Hopefully we can improve uh, in this uh, second half of the year because we're currently three and four. So maybe we got hot. And uh, hopefully everyone stays healthy and I'll simu simulate and I'll see you guys in the playoffs. Hopefully we're in the playoffs. Well, we didn't make the playoffs. Nice. That's fantastic. Really annoying. I mean, you guys can see the stats team-wise. I don't know why Murray just didn't pass the ball. Like, what? I don't understand, guys. 8-9. Yucky, yucky, yucky. Didn't make the playoffs. So that's not good. Uh, just missed out. It is what it is. We got one more season to make the playoffs, though, and maybe go on a run. But <sighs> Let's see the playoff bracket. Let's see the playoff brackets. How are we doing here? You guys can see it. Boom, boom, boom. Vikings in the bottom right corner. And 
What I'd like to know is the stats. How did Kyler Murray do? How did he do? Yeah, he, he did awful in the second half of the year. Like, what the frick? You were doing so good. And then you just you just have a terrible second half. So I don't understand that. Dude, Blake Bortles, and I mean, he only played one game. But, like, Blake Bortles. Come on, man. I mean, McCaffrey had a good year, I guess. Murray was good rushing. But even then, it's like, I need you to throw the ball a bit. I mean, DeAndre Hopkins had a nice year. I might trade Devontae Adams, honestly. I mean, he had 10 TDs, but I don't know. I don't know. Do we keep Adams? I'm really contemplating trading him. I really am. Maybe I get, like, a good receiver for cheaper. Maybe even, like, Tyree Hill. I can get Tyree Hill. That'd be actually a decent trade. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but uh, the blocking, okay. You know, David Collins leading the team tackles. I did Simmons. <laughs> so my mid linebacker's doing really good. Uh, 13 sacks for Watt, 10 for Sue, 8-8. Eight, eight. Okay, not bad. Interceptions. B Brian Murphy Jr. with five interceptions. That's delicioso. Uh, you guys can see the rest of the stats here. So, yeah, I'm a bit I'm a bit flustered because now I kind of want to trade Kyler Murray, even though I just re-signed him to, like, a big deal. I If he's going to do that, like, I don't want him on my team. So, all right, seventh... Seventh offense. Is that what it said? Seventh? Or 17th? I don't know. We're in the middle of the pack offensively. And defensively, we were pretty good defensively, actually, which is nice. But, yeah, I don't know. MVP, who was it? Mahomes. Coach of the Year. Zach Taylor. Good for you. All right. We got a lot of things to do. We have, we're going to have some cap in the offseason. Resign, you know, J.J. Watt, Hudson, a couple other guys. Uh, but I'm going to try to make some trades. Like, I think I might try to upgrade my quarterback position. I might try to upgrade my wide receiver. Well, not upgrade, but, like, just other positions. Maybe we maybe we try to sacrifice doing they have, still get a good wide receiver, and, like, get another position and save cap. We'll see uh, what I d decide to do. But I'm going to simulate the uh, playoffs and see who ends up winning the Super Bowl. So it's going to be the Browns winning the Super Bowl against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Okay, that's something uh, different. Baker Mayfield, the, final, uh, the Super Bowl MVP. So Dwayne Malone from the Packers, offensive rookie of the year, wide receiver, defensive rookie of the year, Browns. Thaddeus Hines, defensive tackle. So third and final season underway. We have a lot of cap. Um, we do have a lot of cap, which is good. There are some guys here that I want to re-sign. So, J.J. Watt, I'd like to keep him around on the team. He wants a one-year deal. This should be a fair off. Like, this is a completely fair offer. $10.5 million. Are you kidding me? All right, whatever. We'll get you... No, we're going to get him in... We're going to get him in free agency. Hudson's probably going to do the same thing. I already know he is, so... Yeah, of course. And then By Byron Murphy's going to do the same thing, right? Yeah. You're just... You guys suck. All right. Uh, I'll try to resign Sue, I guess. Uh, hopefully he... Uh, I'm going to give him less. I don't want to give him that much. Okay, so we get Sue back, which is cool. And then uh, we'll resign DJ Humphreys, I guess. Always oh, out 19 weeks. No thanks. Um, it's not worth my time. All right. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go to the off season. We have we have moves to make. So free agents to sign, periods to keep, and I will see you guys once I'm there. So there we go. We got a lot of money, a lot of money, 50 million to spend. But I do need to get back some of my guys. Um, I mean, Terry McLaurin is here. I guess that's cool. Aaron Rodgers. Do we go for Aaron Rodgers? Do we sign Aaron Rodgers? I don't know. AJ Brown. Hmm. Very, very interesting. There is a lot of moves here that we could possibly make. So, this should be fun. I'm kind of excited to see what I end up wanting to do. It says we don't have available funds. I don't know why. It's a little bit weird. But I'm gonna, there's a lot of moves to be made here. So I'm going to hopefully try to make some of these moves now. All right, so I got Rodney Hudson back. I lost J.J. Watt. We get Aaron Rodgers. 
which means I'm gonna try. I'm gonna trade Kyler Murray. I think I'm gonna trade Kyler Murray, and I might trade Devontae Adams too. So we have 7.27 million cap space, and I'm looking at free agency. Tom Brady's here too. Nice. Um. Uh, Kyle Fuller. I, I lost Brian. Yeah, I lost a lot of my guys. I lost Brian Mur uh, Murphy, Byron Murphy. <sighs> yeah, that's not good. Um, all right. So I'm gonna make some trades. I'm gonna I'm gonna trade probably. <sighs> Do I trade Devonte Adams now? I don't know. We're gonna trade. We're definitely trading Kyler Murray. That's for sure. So that's gonna happen. All right, two fourth round picks and a fifth round pick for Logan Wilson. Uh, so uh, from the Bengals. So this is uh, one move that I'm making. All right, I traded a future first round pick for Lindstrom and Ward from the Falcons. Needed a right guard, needed a cornerback. So this trade seems to do the trick. Can't seem to make a trade. Uh, I can't seem to trade Kyler Murray because I extended him. And so this is a bit of a problem. So I'm just going to advance. We need to make it we need to somehow trade Kyler Murray though because we're kind of thin on a bunch of stuff and plus I have Aaron Rodgers so I need to trade one of them I would probably would trade Kyler Murray because he's going to be the secondary quarterback so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do here so I mean the defense is definitely very very lacking I'm a bit nervous. I'm a bit nervous. Here's the roster, though. We have McCaffrey, Hopkins, Devontae Adams, Baker, Hawkinson, Rogers, Jones, Hudson, Murray, Derek Brown, Christian Kirk, Isaiah Simmons, Chris Lindstrom, Javarius Ward. I mean, there's some talent, but, like, we got Rock. But I don't know. The thing is, I don't need Kyler Murray. I, I, I want to trade him, but I can't. So... I don't really know what to do. And I don't know if I want Dodger. I don't know if I want Dante Adams. Like, we're very thin in a lot of spots. Like, we don't really have a left guard. We drafted one. I don't really have a good left tackle. We don't have a good right tackle. A right edge. We're in a tough spot. We're in a tough spot. Can I sign Jacob Martin? Like, I don't think I can. I can't lower my offer. It's weird. What, what I don't like is I can't modify my offer. Like, it doesn't let me. So, I don't know. I really need to make a trade. I really need to make a trade. I either need to trade Kyler Murray and or Devontae Adams uh, for something. I need, like, more. I just need to improve my team better, especially on the defensive end. Okay. Kyler Murray to the Bills for Deion Doggins, Ford, and Epineza. So I, I, that's the trade I made. <coughs> okay, so there you go. Uh, so now Kyler Murray is a Bills, uh, the Bills problem. So that's kind of big. Because uh, that definitely, I definitely think that makes our team a bit better. But not too much. I don't know if there's any other moves that I want to make. Uh, there might be one more that I want to make. Maybe we'll see if I can shop Devontae Adams and get something for him. I need a right tack on a right end. So maybe that could be something I could look to trade for. Maybe use my picks. But uh, after that, I think I'm pretty much set. Leatherwood and Arnett Jr. from the Raiders for a second round pick. And that's pretty much all the moves I'm going to make. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that is going to be the team. If I need to move the deadline, I will. But I think that's it. I think this is our squad. So I'm going to hope the offense can just carry us, though. I think it should. I mean, Aaron Rodgers, we'll see if he's an upgrade over Kyler Murray. You know, he's old, but I don't know. Maybe watch Kyler Murray have a great season. <laughs> Just watch. Just watch. Hopefully, hopefully we're good. All that matters is as long as we make the playoffs and we win the Super Bowl, I, everything is okay to me. So I'll see you guys at the midseason. All right, guys. So if you look at our record, we are 6-1 and one right now. So I am pretty happy about that. This is good. This is good. This is very, very good. So we're currently 6-1. and one. We're not undefeated like some of these teams are, but 6-1, and one, I will definitely take that. And uh, Raiders are 0-7. Oh, goodness.
So let's take a look at the stats. I'm kind of curious to see how we're doing here. So let's see what we got going on here. So Aaron Rodgers, how you doing, buddy? Ooh, he's doing really good. Aaron Rodgers doing really good. Love to see it. This is exactly what I want. So this is fantastic. He's got a lot of passing yards. McCaffrey doing his thing rushing as well. Uh, even Rodgers doing pretty decent rushing, so that's not bad. DeAndre Hopkins, Christian Kirk, Devontae Adams. Uh, TJ Hawkinson's good. Chris McCaffrey's even getting some recept receiving, a good amount of receiving yards. So, yeah, our offense probably like top three, I would think, in terms of overall. Uh, the blocking is okay. The defense, hopefully, that's still pretty decent. I mean, Chandler Jones, eight sacks already. I'll take that. Uh, but pro I think we probably took a little bit of a step down on defense, maybe. But it looks like it's okay. It doesn't look like it's too big. So you guys can see the rest here. So yeah, let's see how we're doing so far. Yeah, number one, I, I was gonna say, we're, we're basically not top three. I knew we were number one and it's not even close. Yeah, uh, passing, we are number two and then rushing, we are number four, but all of that combined gives us one of the best offenses in the league and obviously top three in scoring. Defense, how are we doing here? Uh, mm, close to the middle, but I'd say like the, you know, like 15th, maybe 14th, something like that. Right. If I could trade for like a yeah, 15, there you go. If I could trade, if I could do one trade, maybe I can get like another defensive guy to help the defense out even a little bit more. But honestly, I think the team is pretty much set. Uh, I'm going to see if I can make a move. Otherwise I'll just see you guys at the end of the year. First, second round pick and Lawrence for Kinlaw, Javon Kinlaw from the 49ers. I overpaid, but we're not going to use those picks anyway, so it doesn't matter. It's last year I'm making. It's the last year I'm making, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. So maybe that'll improve the defense a little bit more, but I think we're pretty much set. So uh, what do you got for Brandon Bowen? We're cool back. So yeah. See you guys at the end of the season. Hopefully we're, we win our conference and we're in the playoffs. Okay, we barely, and I mean barely won. Oh my God. We went three and seven the rest of the way. What the hell happened? Uh, went nine eight, and we're taking on Tampa Bay. We're probably gonna lose in the we're probably gonna lose in the wild card. But like, how did we choke? What happened? What happened? I mean, Aaron Rodgers looked like he did pretty good. Uh, I I don't think it was him. The ru the rushing, Caffrey almost eleven hundred yards. It's not bad. Four, Fourteen TDs. Benjamin seven, Roger four rushing. DeAndre Hopkins, Christian Kirk, Devonta Adams, pretty good. DeAndre Hopkins almost sixteen hundred yards. That's really good. Fourteen TDs for Christian Kirk, over almost twelve hundred yards. Uh, Devonta Adams, Tim Hawkins, okay. Uh, the blocking was uh, not terrible. The defense, I mean Jones had eighteen and a half sacks. So what was the issue? How did we go nine and eight? What, what happened? I don't even know, but that's just very weird. So, we had the second best offense, uh, Chiefs overtook us, but in terms of total yards, but even then, like, I don't know how. Did our defense? How did we have number two offense and defense in terms of yards? And still, and then third and, okay, I don't understand. Guys, I don't understand what happened. I really don't know. But Lamar Jackson, MVP. Uh, almost Aaron Rodgers got it. And then Coach of the Year goes to uh, Thomas Kuhn. Or Kuhn, I don't know how to say his name. Okay, we're taking on Tampa Bay. This is going to be... This is really annoying. I thought we would have been like... I thought we would have been like at least 13-4. But we're 9-8. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I mean, we're taking on Tampa. Tampa Bay, so this could be a tough matchup for us. But you look at you look at this playoff bracket. They're the fifth. We're the fourth. Doesn't really matter though. So at least we're home. But even then, they had a better record than us, and their ratings are around the same. So I don't know. Either way, we're gonna simulate. Hopefully, we can advance and go on to the divisional playoff championship game. Okay, so we okay, so we ended up beating Tampa Bay. I'll take it. We beat Tampa Bay. We're taking on Washington. And the winner of this goes on to the NFC Conference game. So maybe we can win. 
No, we don't. We lose to Washington. Frustrating, 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 frustrating. <sighs> well, we didn't win. And that's pretty much the end of the video. So, let's see who ends up winning the Super Bowl. Well, look at that. Washington beat Kansas City in the Super Bowl. It's a very rare sight. Deami Brown was, this, was the MVP. And you guys can see TJ Goodman for the Saints and then Glenn Linton for the Chiefs. Offense, defensive, rookies of the year, respectively. You can see all the rest of the awards. But unfortunately, we once again did not win a Super Bowl. So let's just go to the big screen and close out the video. Well, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe and comment on some of the videos. Check my social down in the description as well as a playlist containing other Madden NFL 22 franchise rebuild content. So the next time we play Madden, we are going to be the Chiefs. And hear me out when I say this. I need to win at least one Super Bowl. And that's just like, I'll be happy. With it. I'll be like, okay with it. I need to win two to be actually happy. Because they just always win. They seem to win like the most. So if I don't get it, if I don't get one, that I mean, if I don't get at least if I don't get two, I'll be kind of annoyed. And if I get one, I'll be like whatever. At least I'm gonna win. But if I don't get one, I am literally gonna refund this game. <laughs> I don't know. I I, I don't know. Maybe I, I'm gonna do something. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just get pissed. But either way, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. Have a great night. Hope you're still soon in peace. Rambling right now.